So the SEC changes some rules, making fundraising easier for crypto firms. And I, when I'm when I'm researching all this stuff, it used to be hard <laughs> a while ago just to find like some positive news. But now it's like my show just kind of writes itself. I mean, I, I just look. I'm like, good news, good news, good news. Okay, that's concerning. Good news, good news. And this is one of those things where it's like it kind of goes over the whole gambit. I mean, we have we have mass adoption. Uh, we have countries and uh, you know all the different inflation. And now we have regulation coming into play. And I'm like, well. Pfft, I'm making it, you're making my job easy. That's all I can say. Thank you, crypto world. So, what is happening here? The U.S. SEC or Securities and Exchange Commission has amended some exemption rules, making it easier for crypto companies to raise funds. Well, that would be great. In 2017, the SEC announced Monday it had amended some rules pertaining to several exemptions. Among other changes, regulator has increased the offering limits for Regulation A, crowdfunding, and Rule 504. No idea what those are, but apparently it's going to increase the limits. So. They state, we are increasing the maximum permitted offering amounts for certain exemptions, so explained by SEC Commissioner or Crypto Mom, Hester Pierce. And I really wish you could have been the chairman. And I had to, I was thinking, I was like, well, hold on. SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce, I had to take a look real quick. I'm like, who is the chairman again? Oh, it's Jay Clayton. So Jay Clayton is still the chairman. He's been there since, uh, well, three years now. And then you got uh, Pierce, Roisman, Heron Lee, and uh, Crenshaw. But, but again, uh, she is just one position away from taking that spot, that uh, top spot from Clayton. Hopefully he can step down soon and we can get somebody who's got uh, some great ideas as far as crypto goes. But anyhow, by raising the offer limit under tier two of Regulation A from 50 million to 75 and the crowdfunding offering from 1 million to 5 million, we seek to reduce the costs relative to the amount raised under these exemptions. So again, I mean, look, I don't know what Hester was saying to uh, all her uh, pals over there in the SEC, but it seems to have worked. And it looks like they're slowly, and I mean very slowly, uh, getting into or releasing some of these regulations. And that's all we need. A lot of times, see these regulations, I'm a proponent. I am in favor of regulations to a point, right? I don't believe that there is like chaos should reign and that we should be in the Mad Max world where we have Thunderdome and everything. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we actually have a little bit of regulation, but it's just like cake. One slice of cake is okay. If you try to shove a whole cake in your mouth, it'll just make you sick. It's the same thing with regulation. A little bit's good. Just finding that sweet spot is fantastic. But usually the government screws it up and they go overboard. So uh, we will see. Uh, but uh, Hester Pierce, uh, congratulations for getting something done. <laughs> I totally appreciate it. And that is it for today. So look, interesting night tonight. Uh, just remember, if you're not from the U.S., uh, just wait for the news and uh, watch the party unravel. and uh, Or the party start, I guess we could say. Because it's going to be a wild night. And don't expect uh, the uh, election to actually get called tonight. We're looking at 24 to 72 hours, maybe even a week, maybe a month. We never know. If you're a fan of history, remember the whole George Bush, Al Gore type of uh, incident when it all came out of Florida? That took quite a while, and uh, there was no clear-cut winner for a while, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. But I could be wrong. Anyhow, that's it for tonight. Thanks so much for listening. I really appreciate it, and uh, I will see you on the next one.